All right, welcome back. My name is Bushabi Junior. You're watching Maisha Prime News, Maisha Television. Let's get it on. It's time for education story. Maliera Boys High School in Siaya County has once again proven its excellence in education by achieving remarkable results in the 2023 KCSE examinations. Mr. Jared Okondo, the principal Maliera Boys. Uh, in People look at you very negatively. They look at you, they see, associate you with drug abuse, they associate you with arsonist. So you are like a salsa bab. And I think um, we sat together with the stakeholders, the board of management, and the members of the community. We involved the teacher service commission, the Ministry of Education. And uh, our talk was purely how do we salvage Maliera? And in that case, I want to thank uh, the Minister of Education. They came in handy, the Board of Management, our parents, and all, we all agreed that uh, if Maliera goes the way it has been going, then we are ruining the lives of our children. And uh, I want to thank God that all the stakeholders, including the community, the community was actually acting as our spies. They were giving us the tips. Whenever they see any students who has sneaked outside, they will report to us. Any misbehavior outside, we shall we get a report through the chief. With a total of 165 candidates sitting for the exams, an impressive 162 students have qualified to pursue higher education at the university level. Last year, we presented a candidature of 165. We did our we did the KCC exams, and out of 165. We were able to take uh, 162 to the university. That means 162 got a C plus and above. We didn't have uh, the A plane. Uh, we were able to have uh, about uh, 12 students, uh, A minus, 50 students, B plus, 52, 57 students, B plane. And uh, we only had uh, three students with C plane. So we want to thank God for that excellent performance. And we want to attribute that excellent performance to the fear of the Lord. We want to thank God for these results because uh, you can labor all day and night. And if God is not on your side, it may not be possible to get a good result. These outstanding performances can be attributed to the unwavering dedication and hard work exhibited by both the students and the teaching staff as acknowledged by the school principal Oko Opondo who was honored with the prestigious 2023 Principal Award by Maisha Television. We also want to thank our teachers for the hard work that they have really displayed. There is a very strong teamwork going on in the school here and uh, coordinated by the deputy and each department knows what they are supposed to, to do. Uh, last year we developed a, a blueprint policy uh, where we categorized our students according to their abilities. Uh, there were the high achievers, especially those who are above average, and then the average group and the low, below average group. And uh, we assigned the teachers uh, to take care of those groups. They were responsible for mentoring them academically. So we have seen a positive results out of that our blueprint policy. And uh, we still intend to use that blueprint policy even in this year 2024. And another thing that was very unique with um, the candidates of 2023, they were the most disciplined students. Uh, in all my teaching career, uh, this is a class that I can describe. Very positive, very disciplined, and they were very focused. Uh, as a principal, you know we have to wake up very early in the morning. You sleep very late. But this is a class that did not give me much of 
that nightmares uh, could find it very possible even to sleep in the morning so i think um uh, discipline was a major factor that contributed to this excellent performance and we want to thank our students for that discipline Despite facing various challenges over the years, Maliera Boys High School has managed to maintain its reputation as a leading academic institution. The school has produced influential individuals, including the current area member of parliament, Dr. Elisha Odiambo, among other leaders. People just think that we have just uh, risen to a mean of nine all of a sudden. It has been a process. Uh, when I came to this school in the year 2020, I found this school with a mean of 4.6. And at the end of the year 2020, we had a mean of 5.2. In the year 2021, we had a mean of 6. In the year 2022, we had a mean of 7. So now, in the year 2023, we are having a mean of 9. So if you look at our performance trend, it tells you that every year God has been blessing this school. Every year God has been blessing us. So we want to thank our teachers, our students for that good performance. So we want to thank uh, the community, the parents, the board, the minister, the TC for that collective approach to discipline. And that is what has made us to be where we are. Because without that discipline, we could not have achieved what we are now achieving now. We do hope that um, our boys will still continue to perform well. Principal Opondo emphasized the school's commitment to providing access to quality education and highlighted the recent surge in student enrollment as a testament to its success. Uh, the current class is equally strong. And uh, with the level of commitment that our teachers have started displaying, we do hope that uh, we shall get a better results. We shall get a better results. And every year we come up with a new strategy. I may not be able to tell you the strategy that we are going to use because the strategy we used in the year 2023 may not be all that relevant now. So when it comes to 2024, we shall sit down as uh, staff, then we formulate a new strategy that will enable us to get a better result in 2024. Um, we also want to thank uh, the support. You know, uh, when I came to this school, uh, this school was uh, a school known for drug abuse. This school was uh, one of the most indisciplined schools. Maliera was being banned almost every time. And uh, it really pained me when I came here and uh, uh, hear the kind of talks people talk. And if you are a principal of a school where people look at you very negatively, they look at you, they see, associate you with drug abuse, they associate you with arsonist. So you are like a salsa bab. And I think. Um, we sat together with the stakeholders, the board of management, and the members of the community. We involved the teacher service commission, the Ministry of Education. And uh, our talk was purely how do we salvage Maliera? And in that case, I want to thank uh, the Ministry of Education. They came in handy, the board of management, our parents, and all, we all agreed that, uh, As the school prepares for a significant increase in admissions for Form 1 students, Principal Opondo assured parents and learners that Malera Boys High School is well equipped with adequate facilities to accommodate the new students. This reassurance aims to alleviate any concerns regarding the school's capacity to provide a conducive learning environment for all its students. We are expecting an increased enrollment and I think uh, we are prepared. Already we have about uh, 12 classes vacant. You know, we actually, our infrastructure, we have really expanded our infrastructure. Uh, we have built a uh, for more for 12 more classrooms uh, this building where we are 
up here there are almost 14 classrooms and my office will be part of it up there so we are fully prepared for the form one admission the dormitories are enough we have about 10 dormitories and we also want to thank our area member of parliament i think um he has also assisted us in improving some of our infrastructure. So I think uh, in terms of Form 1 preparedness, we are fully prepared and I think uh, we are hoping to uh, admit more as compared to last year.